Look, <laughs> come front. Hey YouTube, this is Charles, and <laughs> here talking with my clients about hair, the hair industry. Right now, I'm working with some <laughs> Haley's Curls Gentle Wave hair, which is just gorgeous. You guys, if you follow me, you've seen my video before um, when we did the color on my client's hair here. We gave her some golden sun-kissed blonde highlights is what we're going to call that in her hair. But um, I am using the Marcel. Um, I'm using this because it's old school and I love things that are old school because they work. They never stop working. Okay, the ceramics do good, but if you're looking for that curl to stay, everybody wants a style to stay, a curl to hold. Go back to the Kazuri. Kazuri, shout out to Kazuri. They have the best products on the market. Black owned, may I add. Um, you know, it works. It holds that curl in place and you're able to pin curl it very easily because you get defined curls and they just stay a lot better than they would with um, ceramic, you know, um, utensils but anyways um wanted to do this video because we're just sitting here discussing the lady here in houston texas who got jacked for one hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of hair i want to just talk to you thieves for a minute if you're gonna steal don't steal from us you know what i'm saying you just you're killing the cause i'm sorry i hate thieves period but if you're gonna steal don't steal from your own people that's just like ridiculous to me like really ridiculous you know what i mean you're you're hurting and damaging these businesses that are you know trying to come up trying to people who are trying to do well for themselves that's anybody period but you know i just think it's totally ridiculous that you would just go jack from that lady and then sell out the back of your truck that is just really 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 sad and um to black owned businesses i need you guys to be more responsible as well not speaking about her but just on another level I've got hit off by multiple people down here in Houston, Texas. You go in, the price is one price another day. You come in, it's a different price the next day. If somebody sees you have a little bit of money, you know, the price goes up then. I think that's very irresponsible, and I think that's the reason why we have a lot of the stuff going on right now to where, you know, we can't find jobs because we're not helping each other out. I think that's just totally ridiculous. Um, I just wanted to get that off my mind because a lot of stuff is going on right now that I just, I really, really, really can't understand. Don't come into my salon. I'm just hit you off real quick. 45 minutes late for your appointment and then tell me you have somewhere to be. You know what I'm saying? And it works vice versa. I'm working as a stylist here and I've been here two years in Houston, Texas. There are about 2 billion black women down here trying to get their hair done. You know what I mean? And us as stylists, we need to be responsible in booking our appointments on time, at the right time, as well as clients. If you book that appointment, don't no call, no show us. For me, you can turn them around to the sign, Damien. Let, let's read it together. No call, no show will not be rescheduled. Okay, rescheduled needed if more than 15 minutes late. I mean, seriously. Like, because you're, you're killing our businesses off, like, honestly. And a client in the chair could tell you, too. You know what I mean? Because she's been here. She's I was a, on time today. Yeah, my on day. time. <laughs> she's an awesome client. You know what I mean? Awesome client. But I understand you guys, and I want you to know that I understand you guys, but I want you to understand me, so let me go ahead and put it out there. Like I tell you guys in all my videos, the lines of communications need to be open. You can't come in here. 45 minutes late and then tell me where you have to be later on okay that does not work for me it doesn't work for the person who has appointment after you it doesn't work for my entire business you are doing more damage than you know seriously so we're just gonna get it together in know? the funeral statement don't help <laughs> oh yeah you gotta be at a funeral you gotta catch a flight <laughs> you should have thought about all that I don't understand coming into a salon on a Friday talking about you got somewhere to be. Me too. You know what I mean? Truth be told. Me too. I, I don't um, enjoy spending my life in the salon because somebody decided to come an hour late for their appointment. That's not what I want to do. I want to get my appointments on time and go home to my two kids. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? To be completely honest with you. So we're just going to do better. Me and you. We're going we're gonna to focus on trying to do better in our timing. And this is another thing that goes on in African American businesses. You know what I mean? We all have to be accountable and more responsible. 
know what but I mean? you know so many of them like like we're not gonna say like too many names but some of our co-workers would pack them in and then you have them sitting here for seven hours you know what i'm saying right. so some of them come from complexities of other people right right and in this business it is customary you know you go to beauty school and they tell you, you know if you're good you have a lot of clients and just throw them all in there make 10 two o'clock appointments make five three o'clock appointments I honestly, let me tell you the truth, what happens with that. I come from Seattle. I book one appointment at a time. And what happened with me and my one appointment at a time? I was boo-boo the food, sitting up in the salon for four hours straight because people didn't show up for their appointments. You don't, you'll never understand how frustrating that is. For me, I do all weaves all day long. So if you don't show up, that's a big chunk of money out of my pocket. That means me and my kids are not going to make it to Chuck E. Cheese after church on Sunday because you didn't show up and I don't feel like that's fair and that's the reason that's why I started double booking to be completely honest with you that's why I start taking deposits because you know Shaniqua Lee decided mm -hmm. you know and it's her, always her. her check didn't come in on time <laughs> with 17 and, damn syllables in her name and, and so you don't want to call me just pick up the phone and call me and tell me you're not going to be able to make it that's a huge gap. You have done so much to my pocket, it's not even funny. I don't do $40 flat irons. You know what I'm saying? You've taken X amount of dollars out of my pocket because you felt like you couldn't afford to get your hair done, so forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is just retarded and rude, and you are making it harder for my clients, like the lady in the chair, who is responsible. You know what I'm saying? I call. She calls. She's the one who, you know, if I have an appointment at, you know, 11 o'clock on a Friday, which is prime time, she'll come. But Shaniqua Lee done book that time and decided she wasn't going to come. So I'm just out of that money. I'm out of that time. And I'm in here later because I've booked the appointments up to 5. That 5 o'clock could have came at 11. You know what I mean? Talk about them ones that come and order hair and all of that oh. and then come back with per perfect curls and... Just be ready to act like you want a discount on some money back. And Let McDonald's don't even give you money back. Let me tell you something. When you are buying hair like this, gorgeous hair, hair that costs four and five hundred dollars, you know, you're not gonna go back to, you know, Ming Lee and ask her for your money back. Because Ming Lee is going to call the popos on you. That's what Ming Lee's gonna do. Trust and believe that at Houston Weaves, we run our business on integrity. I'm going to, you don't even have to buy hair from me. I'll tell you the hot spots on my website to buy hair from. Hey, this curls is doing it big, you know. Uh, <laughs> she told but, me not to tell But me. change but your you pictures, Haley's. Yeah, because uh, you I'll and your pictures. Barquisha. <laughs> hey, this curls, do, do me a favor. I'll send <laughs> you some pictures. Please. You need to work something out. I'll send you some pictures of some fabulous clients like this one rocking this hair right, doing the dang thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, change those pictures, Haley's. But yeah, don't do not do that type of stuff. When you buy hair from, we got a lot of great African-American businesses coming up in the hair game, which I'm so proud of. They're out there selling hair to customers, making their own business, making our business ours again. You know what I mean? Not that I'm racist or anything, but blacks, we got to do better. You know what I'm saying? We have got to do better as far as black businesses go. We've got to support each other, uh, put our businesses out there. I encourage people black businesses to do better you know what I mean but yeah don't don't come back to us a month and a half later talking about this hair I don't know girl this hair is shedding we all know that saga sheds but try and take it back to Ming Lee and see what happened a month later that's foolishness but that hair ain't on a scalp it's on a web so you yeah, thought it was on a web it's going to shed have realistic goals for this hair it's hair you will get a bad bag every now and then understandable but it is hair at the end of the day. And usually when you spend over $100 on a pack of hair, it's going to do you right. So don't act like that. I have a, um, a couple of suppliers that I know here in Houston, Texas, and they are getting the business. People are driving them through the roof. Just black people. That's us acting like that. Acting a fool. Want refunds. And you don't wear that hair to death. You don't put the curling iron on it every day. You know, you done shampooed it 50 times because you're trying to work out for the summer and get right and all that sweat you wanted out of here and then gonna have the nurse say something shed and then you want to refund. Stop that. And the salt just That's dried it out. That's not what's up. Don't do these black business owners like that because you're not going to do meanly like that. Don't do that. So, yeah. 
I, that was just on my heart for today, you know. But, um, um, what was I blabbing about? I was going into something else, Simi. You threw me off. My bad. No, it's okay. It's okay. But, yeah, just part of what I wanted you guys to know. I mean, that no calling, no showing is whack. You know what I mean? And, and you're, you're causing more problems for the good clients. You know what I mean? That's part of my goal this year, 2011, to make it to where my clients can come in, get their sewing, and leave. I don't want you to have to come in and wait 10 hours. You know what I mean? I had a couple people late today and love to tell me where they need to be, at what time. And it's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. we got to stop that. We really do. So have realistic goals for your appointments, the times you set them. The things you have to do for me I'm gonna just totally be honest I have a, a large clientele and I definitely do the best I I can do with the large clientele I sit in here and Damien tell these people how many lunch breaks I take <laughs> uh, let's count them she had none <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I come in here 8 o'clock it's what 8 9 o'clock now yeah 10 minutes after 9 10 minutes after 9 no lunch break. We've been eating nuggets from McDonald's. Just Ugh. Cold candy. But well, candy is what I had a full Kit Kat today. That was awesome. <laughs> that Finally. Was a Kit Kat in a Sprite on your behind. I don't stop working. So don't come in here huffing and puffing, standing next to me, telling me where you have to be. Or if you late, say shit. I went to Chick fil A and got you a number two. That's why I'm Absolutely. late. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> come bearing gifts when you're you know late. I'm saying <laughs> something. <laughs> shit. <laughs> chewing on a whole pack of gum and, and surfing on that Kit Kat. Then so, asking somebody for $5 chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But on this serious tip, I love and appreciate my clients. You guys know who you are. All the Houston Weave clients, you guys have been awesome. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, you are educating me. Text message. You're educating me and I'm happy to educate you and close those gaps. Oh, and one last thing too. One last thing too. Those clients come in here asking for stuff you know you can't afford. <laughs> Look at Damien's face. Turn that camera. His neck just fell back. Oh. I had somebody this week as well, too. Come in here after your service is done. You you were going to charge me for a takedown? The takedown took my assistant 30 minutes to do. You don't come in here expect to get your weave taken down, a relaxer, and just pay for the sewing. These are all services. These are all things that take time out of my day. And, yeah, you, you have to pay for them. I blame McDonald's. McDonald's Somebody give you the bread, the meat, the pickles for a dollar. <laughs> Shit, they look for that, too. Now, somebody called here today to the salon and said, Hello, may I speak to somebody who does sewings for 125 So you just going to make oh, your that they said? <laughs> That's what they <laughs> said. <laughs> and these people brought me the phone. Yes, they did. Huh? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Go somewhere off of Harwin, possibly. <laughs> she if Andre. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you don't don't do stuff like that. You can't call up to Neiman's talking about yeah. Let me get those Manolos for twenty five dollars. For twenty five dollars. And I got a coupon. <laughs> Stop this! Stop this! You know what I'm saying? Stop this. You know, we, we've got to do better. We, we've got to do better. And if you don't do that to other folks, other nationalities, other races, do not do it to me. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? Seriously, it's, it's getting ridiculous. But anyways, I, I, I'm going to stop going in because I know somebody's going to be super brittle on YouTube. The man, it must be me. them then. Yeah, going off on me. Absolutely. If you do go off at this video, it's you I'm talking about. Yeah. Honestly. Because the average person is not going to get mad at the truth. You know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do better me personally. I know there's stylists out there who care crap, care two craps about where you have to be at what time. You know what I mean? And will charge you whatever they feel at the moment. Me, I have a price list posted. Those prices are the same for everybody. So don't come in here trying to get no super discounts. I have basketball-wise, football-wise, uh, just... People make a major paper. They pay the same as you. Okay? No difference. So, you know, pay me my money. I give you great service and we getting out of here. You need? You want to tell me two bits? You need? No. 
I love Unique over there. That's one of my clients. Unique over there acting like she's from the rainforest with this thing on her <laughs> damn head. <laughs> I love Thank you. in 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to her in 30 minutes. But I love Unique because she pointed out something to me that I didn't know. Ooh, this weave is itching. Okay. She pointed out to me something I didn't know. She said, you know, she noticed that I'm very detailed and that, you know, even when there are 20,000 people oops, waiting for their appointment, notice I'm not going to pick that clip up. I use sanitized implements. But um, when I uh, have a lot of people, I'm still very detailed. I will make sure that my client who is in my chair is thoroughly satisfied with their hair. I'm not going to try and rush on their hair just because somebody's waiting. I make sure that what I do stays very detailed and I make sure my clients are satisfied you know what I mean and that's a big thing too stop going stylist to stylist to stylist telling folks what the last one didn't do and and all that if you pay your money don't get about that chair till it's right and if it's not right if it's not something that they don't do then do not go back that's how that's done you know what I mean if I go to anywhere to get my toes done and she didn't scrape the old dead stuff off the bottom of my feet. It's a wrap. I'm going to tell you to do it one time. And if you don't do it, I'm not coming back. Please you know don't mean? bring gels and stuff in if your hair is breaking off. Talking about use these products. I was just telling you earlier, I don't have gel. I don't have pump it up. I don't own these items. I'm not going to. Pump it up is gasoline in the spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We got to do better, people. I love you to death. I'm not brittle. I'm not bitter. But it is what it is. It's time for a change. It's That's time. what it Amen. is. Amen. Obama. Bam. It's time for a change. You know what I'm saying? We have to We have to get rid of this gap between the customers and the stylists. I'm very open. If my stuff is ugly and you don't like it, you better tell me. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about it. I feel like we're going to work this out together or I'm going to send you to Shabon Bay. Who does finger ways or you know invisible ponies the hair curls in them? Oh. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna send you because I don't care. You know, I don't mind. We gotta get this right. We gotta get you what you want and what you need and make it official. You know what I mean? We gotta stop all this foolishness, especially us. You should love your stylists and stylists should love their clients and that's how it should be. So, and I do. I love my clients. I'm not perfect. I've had people tell me you need to fix this piece or this is ugly. <laughs> whatever you know I had a client come in here and ask me for a mullet okay oh, no. <laughs> she was here she said you know what I mean there, there's all types of stuff that goes on one person can't do it all so stylists who are out there who feel like you gotta hate on the next stylist stop it you know what I mean because you just can't do it all you know what I mean you can only do what you do to the best of your ability and that's it you know so uh, we'll be back with more videos. Anything you want to add to me, Dan? I, I want to go back to that genre thing you were just talking about. And what that brought to my mind was Carrie Hilson. I've yeah. never seen Carrie Hilson hair look like anything when it was long. So she kept the short styles and she kept the mushrooms. So she found somebody that can do the wigs and the mushrooms and she made it work. Absolutely. Make it work. You know, make it work. There's, there's a lot of stylists out there and they specialize in whatever they specialize in and do that to the best of your ability. You do not need to hate on anybody else. You don't. Shout out to Celebrity Seaborn. A lot of people are hating on his work, but he is so talented in what he does. I see your stuff on Boss Up all the time. He does the dang thing. Baby, I would lose a fantasy hair competition to him. <laughs> Absolutely. So... Just stay in your lane. Do what you do. Do it to the best of your ability. Savor your clients. Treat these clients right, too. From time to time, I just do stuff, you know, free Incentives. for my clients because, yep. yeah, you lo love them. They love you enough to come back, sit and wait two hours for you to do whatever you're doing, picking your nose. And some of you guys will just stop, disappear, go pick up the kids. Smoke a cigarette smoke or a cigarette, blunt. You know, and then get back to what you're doing. Mm. They love you enough to do that, so do stuff for them as well. So, um, that's enough blabbing. Where am I at? Like 10 minutes worth of blabbing now? Mm. 20. 20 minutes? <laughs> Unique, you're one second away from being on this video. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blabbing for 20 minutes. 
That's what's up, though. You I think that it. I think that's necessary because her whole head. Yeah, never it's, said it. yeah <laughs> but you know what? If who who's who's out there talking about it though? Everybody else is like, she come sit in my chair, come do what I do, and your finish result look like something from Haley's Curls uh, website. I, <laughs> No offense to anybody, because, you know, I'm looking at Craigslist. Anybody, do your research. Go look at Craigslist.com, even in your city, in your state. Yeah. And see the variety. I'm going to use a nice word of variety that's on there. Those pictures. And those people took those pictures. Those folks smiled for those pictures. So they were happy. <laughs> that just show you that this is this this is, this is is different. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there are different ways for everybody. She asked me for tight curls that are going to stay. She asked somewhere to go next week. So she's going to be ready. That's what's up. This style is going to go for next week. Next week. <laughs> That's, That's what's what up. Marcel will do for you. That's what's up. That's what a Marcel will do for you. Kazuri is awesome. You guys support Kazuri. Stop buying these little cheap uh, Japan made items, you know, that don't last you no time. Kazuri's the business. Don't do not do them like that. They've been here for a long time. Dudley's been out there for a long time. Nobody's stuff this, lays your hair down like Dudley's. This is my problem. <laughs> Why would you go to the beauty supply and buy something that's in the front door that says $3.99, $9.99? Do you realize that they, one, had to upsell that to make their money back on that product? So that means it was $2.99 before you bought it? And something of quality and decency isn't going to last you for a period of time for two ninety nine. So, come on. But then you'll come in the salon and, and be bagging and tripping about some other stuff. Then you got to go to your grandfather's funeral. He ain't dead. So, it's just a whole list of lies. It's a whole list of other stuff that I see at this point is man-made. It's really not that serious. Really, really not that serious. And after a point of, of being a stylist, you're trying to be in business for yourself. You try to give integrity and be decent to people. You get tired of them shitting on your parade. Excuse my French, but you, you really just do. So, like, wh where's the balance? If you guys come in with this attitude, you still expect me to sit here and just take it and deal with these other things and you don't know what you're talking about or you don't know what you're doing or you came in with this sewing that looked like a preschool did it mm-mm don't work yeah. shout out to Damien Houston Dreadlocks he knows what he's doing <laughs> so I guess I'll end the video we have plenty of stuff to talk about friends plenty and uh, leave comments too because I, I, I love to hear what you have to say you know I love to to get the feedback so houstonweaves.com we're going to be coming at you with a lot more this year 2011 already but thank you <laughs>